hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hey everybody, James Rule XRP. Welcome to the James Rule Crypto Show on YouTube. Today is Wednesday, March the 20th, 2024. We have a lot of news, a lot of thoughts and opinions. There's a new auto making, auto, automated market maker software from a uh, very well-known member of the XRP community. He created a some new software. We're going to look at it. We're going to have fun. Uh, before we get started, yes, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a cryptocurrency teacher. I teach about the good, the bad, and the better. So let's go ahead and get after it. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital. Here a few years ago, this is not financial advice. I took all of my old 401ks that were making me 4 to 8% a year. I flipped it into digital assets, gold and silver with iTrust Capital in the past three years. I repeat, in the past three years, my 30 years of blood, sweat, and tears retirement 401ks has more than doubled. Check it out. There's no monthly fees. If you open up a Roth IRA, there's some, uh, you don't have to pay taxes at the end of its tenure. So check them out. I trust capital, a link below. Tell them James Rule XRP sent you by, baby. Let's take a look at the numbers. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything's in red. What's going on, James? You told me these were going to be good. I've been invested in this a month and, and, and I'm not making profits. Well, people, I've been in this seven years and I've been on that roller coaster ride. I've rode the bull runs up and back down and back up and back down. And, you know, total market cap today is $2.443 trillion. We're down here in a week or two about $400 billion. $400 billion. Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the numbers. Don't sweat it, though. Bitcoin is at 63,936, Ethereum at 3335, Solana 174, XRP 59.8 cents, buying opportunity, not financial advice, Cardano 61, Stellar 12.5, Hedera Hashgraph, HBAR 10 cents, VeChain 4 cents, Algo 23, Flare 3.2, let's see what uh, Songbird's at, 1.2 pennies, load up those bags, make that passive income. Let's go ahead and look at this here. I love this Viper at CC Viper CC. Got this out. Marked safe from not panic selling my crypto today. <laughs> you know, how many out there are selling their crypto in the red and may never get back into it because they don't have the freaking patience we have. You know, we have diamond hands. We don't have paper hands. We don't get scared because we know that we're still waiting on the rest of the world to catch up to this technology, the United States to catch up, the senators, Congress, representatives, blah, 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 all the above to catch up. So marked safe from not panic selling my crypto today. I love it, Viper. Thank you very much. Now, coming up today in about an hour and a half, it's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern Time. There's going to be a live webcast with the U.S. House Financial Services Committee talking about the SEC's overreach, examining the need for reform. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to take clips out of it and share it on X, probably share it on my next YouTube video. Let's see what happens. You know, is it going to be a shit show like it always is with Tom Emmer and Warren Davis and, you know, asking these questions and, you know, Gary Gensler is not even going to be there. There's going to be four people on the panel. Gary's not going to be there. Uh, I'm really curious to see what they have to say because the SEC has been going way past their boundaries. They've been regulating by enforcement. They've been making it up as they go. And they're start to, starting to get shot down by these judges because they are, I'm going to admit, part of my language, they're fucking up. They are fucking up and the, the U.S. sees it, these organizations sees it, the judges see it, and enough is enough. Here is the webpage, SEC Overreach, Examining the Need for Reform. There is a link here to the live webcast. It's actually on YouTube. I'll share that uh, once it goes live on X. Let's keep going. Now, yesterday, I tried sending Solano out of my trust wallet to an exchange, and it's still pending. I sent it yesterday. It's still pending. Solano Network. There are some XRPL projects that are, like Xpunk said, they're going to the Solano Network. Well, you better think twice. The XRP ledger never fails. The Solano Network is getting overwhelmed with transactions and the transactions are failing now 
Scam bots have been replying to this and it makes me sick to my stomach because all the scam bots, well, if you type in Trust Wallet or uh, Firefox or, you know, Ledger or Elipal, the freaking bots own X are going to say, click here and I'll help you with your Trust Wallet. No, they won't. They're going to help you drain your wallet. So be careful out there, people. All right, here we go. This is a new AMM automated market maker platform. Panos sent this to me this morning. Panos is very well educated. He created, he has a book on Amazon. He is very, very well educated on the XRP ledger. He follows me. We chat on chat at times. If I have questions, he'll use the answer. But he has created this anodose or anodose. I can't pronounce it. If I'm butchering it, uh, Panos, I'm sorry. Anodos Finance. It is a utility layer of Web3 powered by the XRP Ledger, built on the XRP Ledger, empowering universal access to blockchain technology. Join our Discord. Now, this is the how to use Anoda Swap. And I'm going to leave a link below. And there's several things you have to do. You have to download the Gem Wallet. You have to fund it with 10XRP. You have to set it to the DevNet. The test net faucet, you have to generate a, uh, a code, which you're going to paste into the gym wallet. And once everything's set up and done, check this out. This is the actual swap page. No, this is the actual liquidity page. I've actually, uh, what they're going to do, they're going to give you 10,000 uh, XRP, like Monopoly money. Let me click on gym wallet. As you can see right here, I currently have a balance of 9,925 uh, DevNet XRP. I have the LP token, 6,801 LP tokens, because I uh, put some XRP and USDC into the liquidity pool and you receive these LP tokens. That's what the market maker does. USDC, I have $23. This is all DevNet. This is not real money. So if we go back, I'm going to show you the, you can trade. So it means out of my 9,925 um, XRP, let's see, I'm going to trade XRP for, and this is a DEX. You don't need Uphold or Binance or Coinbase to do this. Let's take a thousand uh, XRP devnet and turn it into 593 usdc i'm going to click swap it's going to go through i'm going to submit the transaction it takes a second close transaction successful and if i click back on the gym wallet you can see where I now have 614 USDC. My XRP balance went down. So check it out. I'm going to leave a link below. Like I said, I did uh, uh, orchestral finance the other day. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, Panos, he says, I asked him, I said, well, when is this actually going to go live? He says, right after the automated market makers go live. So I am so excited to be a part of this. Uh, here in two days, the automated market makers uh, the amendment is going to go live on top of the XRP ledger. So get ready, people. Go in and do your test runs. Have fun. Know that whenever these go live, you're actually going to be able to use real XRP, real USDC, and and uh, earn by contributing to these liquidity pools. Let's keep going, baby. Do not send your crypto to an unknown wallet. Do not send your crypto to an unknown wallet. One more. Do not send your crypto to an unknown wallet. Period. Trezor's X account. Trezor's Trezor is a cold hardware wallet. Their Twitter account was compromised and the hacker is promoting a fake Solana token. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Do not send your crypto to an unknown wallet. I try to reiterate this because so many people out there are FOMOing. They're having the fear of missing out. And they're getting scammed. Let's keep going. Sean McBride follows me. I follow him. Girl Dad XRP. He is X Google, X Amazon, X Ripple. All poster his opinions and not financial advice. I had to repost this. He states that the average age in the Senate in the United States is 64 years old. The average age of our first Senate was 47. Do you think if we had more 40 year olds in the Senate, 
They would better understand algorithms and data stores and how to regulate those companies who create them. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need a younger Congress, younger representatives, uh, tech savvy representatives that will um, allow us to flourish in the United States. It's got to happen, people. Okay, several advocacy groups have filed amicus briefs in support of an appeal by Coinbase calling for the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to create clear rules for the crypto industry. Let's take a quick look here. Cointelegraph, Turner Wright, thank you very much. It states that the Crypto Council for Innovation, the Satoshi Action Fund, the Texas Blockchain Council, Council Paradigm, Legilex, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce are called on the SEC to establish guidelines. I'm just going to read these first two paragraphs. Everything we cover today, I'm leaving in the link of the description below. Bear with me. Several advocacy groups have filed amicus briefs in support of an appeal by Coinbase. In separate March 18 filings with the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, the Crypto Council for Innovation, the Satoshi Action Fund, Texas Blockchain Council, investment firm Paradigm, digital asset company Legilex, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce said that the SEC lacked clear guidelines for market participants to successfully follow in the United States. Many of the filings argued that without clear rules to the road or of the road, companies would be more inclined to leave the United States. Paul Graywall, he is with Coinbase. We are grateful to see many amicus briefs filed today in our Third Circuit case objecting the SEC's denial of our rulemaking petition. He thanks all these uh, organizations that have submitted their amicus briefs. There were like 14 submitted in the Ripple case. There's been many submitted in the Coinbase case. There were many submitted in the library case. Get ready. It's the power of the people, people. Okay, Coinbase. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to read the article. I'm just going to show you this here. It says that a DC coffee chain debuts crypto payments with Coinbase Partnership. A DC coffee chain debuts crypto payments with Coinbase Partnership. How many representatives, how many congressmen and women in New York go to this coffee shop? And how many are going to see that crypto moves money forward with Coinbase? Congratulations, Coinbase. Thank you for the article, uh, Fox Business. Wow, so many amazing things are happening. So many developers are developing things for these new technologies, and it's the right time. We're at the right time, at the right place. Yeah, the prices of crypto are down, but you know, if you hold it out long enough, you're going to reap the benefits. This is the James Rule Crypto Show. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share my channel. I'm the crypto teacher of teachers, educator, and... I want you guys and gals to have a great day. I'm going to be watching that conference on the SEC today, and uh, let's have a good time. James Rule XRP is out of here. I told you so.